hello everybody. I decided since it was getting nice and cold out, unlike today, today's 70 degrees, but the rest of the week and the rest of this month has been relatively cool. And so since it's getting cold out, I decided I was gonna make a really easy, quick, and satisfying potato corn chowder, which will warm you from the inside out and we'll make a really good Sunday dinner. Welcome back to my kitchen for season two of Julia's Sunday dinners. Of course, I'm Julia, and as you can see, I have a nice little set piece that I decided to have here, so I'm not turning my back to you all the time. You don't see my crappy counter on camera as often but we also have a new home on the foodaholics 101 channel and that's a channel that i started it's going to be great it's going to have it doesn't yet but it's going to have a whole big group of people who are going to help you out with lots of food tips and cooking shows and um, i'm going to also see if i can talk uh, get some people who can do lots of shopping tips um, how to cook really frugally and also once it gets to be summer or late spring I'm going to talk a lot about how to I'm going to do some stuff about how to garden how to vegetable garden too so I hope you um, enjoy the channel but for now I'm going to make you a really really easy dish it is called potato corn chowder now this is absolutely vegetarian. The way I make it is there are a, there's um, instead of vegetable broth you can use chicken broth and make it non-vegetarian. But it's just safer to make things vegetarian if you can because you never know who's going to be there to eat it. So let's get started. It's really really simple and I think you're going to really like this. It's going to warm you from the inside out. Ooh, it's so good. All right, we're going to start by getting our pan on at about a medium to medium high heat and we're going to throw in let's see we are going to throw in about a teaspoon of vegetable oil not much got a little teeny tiny cheat back here because <laughs> i haven't made this recipe in a while but it's one that i usually bring out this time of the year now once that's heating up Normally, I'd use sherry uh, for this. It's a cooking wine normally, and it's something that really does impart a lot of flavor. Just like Marsala wine is a red wine that's used mostly for cooking, sherry is the white wine, basically the white wine equivalent to it. It's not really good for, for drinking, but it works really well for cooking. Um, I don't have that today, and I actually did not have the money to get it. So... I'm going to use champagne. This champagne I had in my fridge from last New Year's. And as you can see, I have this nice little top on it. This is airtight and I love it. I'm going to open it up. All right, well, I opened it earlier and it, and it went that out all the air and carbonation. So we'll be ready to go with that. So that's starting to shimmer a little bit. So we got two teaspoons of this. This will work perfectly. Also, one thing that I'm suggest this is a brute. That means it's not really sweet. What I suggest you try one time is try champagne. A whoa, hey, let's turn that down a little bit. Okay. You use a champagne, a regular old Corbel champagne, not a brute, and fry some onions in it. Ooh, ooh. They come up nice and sweet. All right, I turned down the flame a little bit. Let that go for a little teeny bit. And I'm going to show you the rest of the ingredients that we have. Okay, now we've got ourselves our onion now onion we only need one cup of onion so i'm going to 
throw one cup of onion in here. Just regular old yellow onion. So I'm going to pop that in here. Okay, this is very simple. And we're going to let those saute. Those are going to saute for about five minutes. I'm going to show you the rest of the ingredients. We have some carrots. We have some celery, which is optional. I don't like celery that much when it's in its raw state. Um, I think it has a weird aftertaste, but it also adds, it adds a little bit of crunch to it and a little teeny bit of flavor to this dish. Plus, we have our potatoes. Now, these turned a little brown. Well, um, yeah. One way you can stop it, stop that from happening is by dropping them into cold water with a little bit of lemon in it. So, um, they're still usable. And they'll still taste fine, but they don't look the best, but they'll be fine, okay? And we have ourselves a thing of vegetable broth, one cup. These are great. They come in a pack of four, and they're one cup recipe size. I don't have to measure anything else. Just open it up, pop it right in, and it's ready to go, okay? And let's see. These are, these are coming along pretty well. All right, looks like we're almost there. But let's let's imagine, let's imagine right now that we're there. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot we also need bay leaf. And I got to open this up. Oh, this is just quite fun in front of the camera. All right. Pop that into our pan. We got one of these. Ooh, nice and fresh. Just bought these yesterday. Pop that in there. Let that get a little teeny bit of fragrance on that. A little bit of cook on that for a second or two. All right. And now, if I'm not mistaken, we add, yes, we add our carrot, celery, potato, and stock. Now these carrots, I use the baby carrots. I like those, they're, they're really easy to use and they also save a lot of time. And we're gonna saute these a little bit. And drop two cups of potatoes in. That's two. Measure. Let's mix that up. Onion, celery, and carrot. Think. Don't count. Don't. 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 You know. Quote me on this. I think is what's known as it's either the mirepoix or the holy trinity because there's a little bit of difference between them. One is used in Cajun cooking. The other is used in French cooking. And there's one ingredient that's different in them. I have no idea what it is, but somebody, I'm sure somebody, will comment right down there and tell me. All right, now that that's sauteed a little bit, I'm gonna add our stock. Now, as I said again, this can also be chicken stock. But I try to go vegetarian whenever I can. So, there we go. All right, now that's going to come to a boil, okay? We're going to cover that up. We're going to let that come to a boil. That works perfectly. And we're going to let that boil. Um, actually, we're going to get it up to a boil. Then we're going to turn it down, let it simmer for about 15 minutes. 
and then I'll be back to finish this up for you.